3,000 cars rolling off one line every single day. While Detroit celebrates hitting 1,000, Tesla's Model 2 factory is operating at a scale that has automotive engineers calling it physically impossible. But here's the shock. This isn't just about speed. It's about a 7.5-hour build time when competitors need 14 hours. It's about 99.7% first-pass quality, while Ford sits at 98%. The real question isn't how Tesla did it. It's why nobody saw this coming. What's inside these production lines that makes them untouchable? Let's dive right in. Walk into any traditional car factory and you'll see the same thing. Welding stations everywhere, hundreds of them. Because that's how cars have been built for decades. Piece by piece. Weld by weld. Tesla looked at that and asked one simple question. What if we just didn't? The answer is the enhanced GigaPress. And it's not your standard manufacturing equipment. This machine generates 6,500 tons of clamping force while operating at 1,150 degrees Fahrenheit, doing something no other automaker dared to attempt, forming the entire Model 2 underbody as a single piece. One shot. One casting. Done. The results speak for themselves. 220 weld spots eliminated per vehicle. Defects dropped by 62%. The frame is now 32% stiffer than anything built the traditional way, Tesla's achieving 97% material yield, while the industry standard sits at 82%, saving $750 per car just in scrap reduction alone. You might think this is just about efficiency, but you'd be missing the bigger picture. This is about reimagining what's possible when you refuse to accept that's how it's always been done. And this machine is just the beginning of what's happening inside these factories. Right next to those massive presses, 850 ABB robots are doing something equally remarkable. Each one is equipped with fast tool changers that retool in 9 seconds flat. Traditional systems need several minutes to change tools. Tesla's robots are switching between welding bolt tightening, and frame inspection before a human operator could even reach for a different wrench. What makes this truly exceptional is how these robots handle 16 different Model 2 variants per shift while targeting 1,650 units daily. That's 18% above what the Model Y line currently produces. Meanwhile, Ford's F-150 Lightning celebrates when they hit 1,000 units per day. The gap isn't just noticeable, it's widening, but speed without quality is worthless, which is why each robot integrates strain gauges guaranteeing 99.5% bolt accuracy Nevada testing facilities using comparable precision systems saw service calls drop by 22%. When you're building cars that face Florida's humidity or Texas heat, that kind of consistency isn't a luxury. It's essential for long-term reliability. The quality control system takes this even further, with 3D laser scanners inspecting every panel, seam, and joint with micron-level accuracy. When an issue appears, the system doesn't wait for human intervention. It flags the problem instantly to upstream robotic cells, cutting error correction time by 50% and pushing first-pass yield above 99.7% Ford and Volkswagen hover around 97-98%, to 98 which explains why Tesla's warranty costs stay lower while customer satisfaction keeps climbing higher. Quality and precision are impressive, but they mean nothing if the cars aren't moving through the factory fast enough. This is where Tesla's material flow system reveals its true genius. Automated guided vehicles move components at 19.7 feet per second, nearly double the 9.8 feet per second in conventional EV plants. That velocity eliminates waiting time between assembly steps, 
keeping production flow continuous without pause. The result is staggering. 3,000 Model 2 vehicles rolling off a single line every day, scaling to 960,000 cars per year per factory. This isn't a projection or a goal. It's the operational capacity already engineered into the system. And running right now, battery installation alone showcases this speed advantage. Docking stations with hydraulic clamps reduced insertion time from 12 minutes down to 2.5 minutes. That single improvement supports 350,000 units yearly per line, exceeding Lucid's Nevada output by 15% through 94% operational uptime. While competitors are still wrestling batteries into place manually, Tesla's system is already moving to the next station. Even waste management became a speed advantage. Tesla's in-house thermoplastic molding recycles 88% of materials, slashing waste by 45 tons for every 7,000 vehicles produced. In Texas, where sustainability grants reward efficiency, owners see 12% rebates on qualifying builds. The faster production gets, the more sustainable it becomes. Now, let's talk about cycle time, because this is where the competition truly falls apart. Tesla moves a Model 2 from raw chassis to finished vehicle in 7.5 hours. The industry average sits between 12 and 14 hours per vehicle. That's a 45 to 50% reduction without cutting corners on quality. When you order a Model 2, you're not waiting months for production slots to open up while your car sits in some queue. Compare the daily output across manufacturers and the gap becomes impossible to ignore. Ford's F-150. Lightning Line manages about 1,000 units per day for 300,000 annually. Volkswagen's ID.4 facility reaches approximately 850 daily for 255,000 yearly. General Motors pushes 1,200 per day toward 360,000 per year. Tesla isn't just leading, it's outpacing the next largest EV line by 150 to 200 percent. That gap represents a fundamental restructuring of what mass production actually means in the electric vehicle era. The speed and scale are impressive, but they'd be meaningless if Tesla was burning through materials and energy to achieve them. Instead, the opposite is happening. Aluminum and steel scrap rates stay below 0.8% compared to the 2-3% in legacy EV lines. Energy consumption drops 18% per vehicle. Water usage during stamping and painting falls 15% per unit. This creates a compounding advantage. Lower production costs get passed directly to buyers, which is how Tesla delivers more affordable EVs without compromising structural integrity or performance. Every efficiency gain makes the next vehicle cheaper to build, and that savings flows straight through to the price tag. Labor optimization reveals another layer of Tesla's strategy. One human operator oversees 12 robots on Tesla's line, compared to one operator managing five to six robots in traditional plants. This isn't about replacing humans. It's about positioning them where their judgment and expertise matter. Most machines handle repetitive precision tasks, while humans focus on problem solving and quality verification. Your vehicle gets built faster, smarter, and with fewer mistakes because both human skill and machine precision are deployed exactly where they're most effective. Speed and efficiency create one advantage, but flexibility creates something even more powerful. Tesla's modular robotic cells allow rapid switching between Model 2 variants without downtime. The predictive workflow system adjusts assembly steps dynamically to prevent bottlenecks before they happen, which sounds simple until you realize what it replaces. Other automakers rely on rigid sequences that stall the moment one station falls behind, creating cascading delays that push delivery dates back weeks. Tesla's system anticipates problems and reroutes production flow in real time. 
keeping output steady even when unexpected issues arise. This is the difference between a production line that reacts to problems and one that prevents them entirely. Here's where everything we've discussed stops being about one factory and becomes about the future of automotive manufacturing worldwide. Tesla didn't just build a production line, they built a template that can be replicated almost anywhere. The 2026 Model 2 production system isn't confined to Texas or Nevada. It's a blueprint for scalable, ultra-flexible EV manufacturing that works globally. Using modular robotic cells, Tesla can replicate this system without months of costly retooling. While other automakers spend up to a year reconfiguring a plant for a new model, Tesla switches between variants in under one hour. Future EV factories using this approach could cut setup costs by 25 to 30 percent, making EV manufacturing financially sustainable across global markets. For established automakers, this sets a new competitive floor. Adopt similar efficiencies or risk permanent irrelevance. The timeline advantage is equally brutal. Traditional automakers take years to bring a new EV to market. Tesla's Model 2 line does it 6 to 12 months faster, which means consumers see the latest innovations, improved battery chemistry, new structural safety systems, smarter energy management, almost a year ahead of everyone else. That gap doesn't just affect sales. It affects perception, brand loyalty, and market position. For buyers, the benefits are tangible and immediate. The cost per vehicle drops as production efficiency improves, leading to lower prices without sacrificing quality. The waiting period for a Model 2 has shrunk from nearly a year to just four to six months, thanks to the 3,000 vehicles per day output. Tesla's laser-welded frames and real-time inspection systems give each Model 2 up to 20% higher structural rigidity compared to legacy competitors, with every seam, joint, and panel inspected down to micron-level precision. The result is fewer recalls, fewer workshop visits, and more time simply enjoying the drive. So here's exactly why this matters. When one company builds 3,000 cars per day with 99.7% first-pass quality, while the competition struggles at 1,000 units with lower precision, we're not watching incremental improvement. We're witnessing the exact moment the automotive industry split into two eras, before this production system and after. The question from the beginning wasn't just how Tesla did it. It was why nobody saw this coming. The answer is simple. Everyone else was improving the old system Tesla built an entirely new one. And this is just the beginning. Within 18 months, this template will be replicated across three continents. Within three years, legacy automakers will either adopt similar systems or lose their market share permanently. The production line running in Texas right now isn't just making cars faster. It's redefining what mass production means for the next decade. Here's what I want to know. Do you think Ford, GM, and Volkswagen can catch up? Or is this gap already too wide to close? Drop your answer in the comments below. If this breakdown gave you a new perspective on what's actually happening in manufacturing, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. Turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the innovations reshaping transportation, energy, and technology. The future isn't coming. It's rolling off the line at 3,000 units per day. Thanks for watching.